Who knows the slow small by G? And that breaking news tonight on the east side where three people were shot. I'm Ben Becker. And I'm Danielle Vittable. JSO says two people have serious injuries and the third is in critical condition. Y'all gotta know, man. It's pressure on it at all times, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go see the game. It ain't no game, man. Hey, y'all. Why the state attorney's office believes the group Cut Circle is connected to the local gang 1200. Hey, told y'all was pin with cut, 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 so get that and understand. A crime alert in Brentwood after a car is riddled with bullets in broad daylight. The young man inside this car, now dead. People in the community share a tearful embrace. Sakpase gang, Florida continues to be a hub for hip hop talent. With the like of Kodak Black igniting the music scene, inspiring youngins from the streets, and they often pick up the mic depicting the daily reality in their life, fueled with violent lyrics of things they have done or will do. Historically speaking, Jacksonville has been one of the more violent cities in Florida, but things have become progressively worse in recent years. In 2019, there were 131 murders in the city. In 2020, that number up into 176. Don't forget about the years prior to that. These tensions have spilled over into the music and Jacksonville drill scene is full of rappers referencing loved ones who have lost their life to gun violence. Before the world knew about Young and Ace and Fulio, the poster boys for Jacksonville drill music, or the questionable street reputation of Nado Wicks, there was a war outside between some of the most reputable cliques. Head first and cut circle. In 2007, at just 7 years old, Jacksonville, Florida rapper that boy Papa got his start in rap. 14 years later, he has established himself as one of the best artists coming out of Jacksonville. With early tracks like Nightmare on M Street and Purple Hearts, he kicked his way into the industry. And since then, he has produced a strong catalog for his fans, depicting his life struggles, expressing his pain through his music, and collaborating with the likes of Lil Durk, Quando Rondo, and Polo G, just to name a few. Despite his efforts, he remains one of the most slept on artists in Jacksonville. And from his own health battles to getting shot and losing close friends during the war in Jacksonville between Cut Circle and Head First, his journey here has been a horrifying one. My name is CJ from Sh YouTube, and this is the scary story of Lil Papa. Janaris Wheeler, better known as Lil Papa, was born in Jacksonville, Florida, on the east side to be exact. For generations, the east side has been known as one of the most reputable and active areas of Jacksonville, centered around Florida Avenue, Phoenix Avenue, stretching towards 21st Street, homes to hoods like 1200 and cliques like Cut Circle and spats for Corbin, and rappers like Spend the Bands, Wap Up with the Chopper, and J. Dot Breezy. As a youngin, Lil Papa bounced between his mother's home on Jacksonville East Side and his grandma in Aunt's Place to the West. At just seven years old, he started writing music for his church under the tutelage of his older brother, Chi Chi. By the time he was 10, he was rapping in church in a regular basis. But the older he got, he started to pivot away from religious music and became influenced by the older guys he was around and his brother. They pivoted away from church, becoming more active in the streets, and their music reflects that, forming what was known as Cut Circle, which consists of rappers like Chi Chi, Chris CP3, Cut Circle Popeye, 1200 Yak. And on the other side, they have their rivals, Head First, represented by rappers like Lil Jack, Lil Rap, others, who at the time fought to portray themselves as local music groups on surface, but the police recognized them as gangs. Blunts and kids. They're all featured in Cut Circle's music videos, along with scenes of and lyrics about violence. Listen closely to the single My Team, where the group clearly acknowledges the 1200 gang. Assistant State Attorney Rich Manti tells me Cut Circle, the rap group, isn't a recognized gang, but its members and the group are tied to the 1200 gang. Have Cut Circle members been prosecuted for crimes? Oh yes. They refuted the gang title bestowed on them by Jacksonville Sheriff Office. Killed. Since then, the group sent me an email saying they are not a gang. The group's manager says they are in the process of creating, quote, a program together to provide kids help with homework and life decisions to keep them out of prison. The message ends with, quote, so is Cut Circle a gang? 
No, strictly a group of guys with a rap dream. Office. On October 6, 2014, while Health First members were having a party on their block on Lindo Drive, Cut Circle members Prosper and Tay drove past the house party in the early evening and opened fire. People at the house on 45th Street on Lindo Drive shot back and Tay was hit. In efforts to save Tay, Prosper, CP3 blood cousin, was caught in the crossfire where he was met with his demise. It happened after the sunset yesterday evening. Neighbors say scores of gunshots shattered the silence, leaving three men dead and two women injured, one with gunshot wound. They believe that uh, people who came here, who started the shooting, knew these people. They had some type of confrontation with them in the past, and they came back here. That's what that's what they believe. That hasn't been confirmed. But, that's but this would not be the end of the bloodshed. And as the chaos was going on, the subject matter of Lil Papa music started to change. Using the influence he gained from Lil Boozy, Lil Wayne, Kodak Black, and the Cut Circle crew, he built a makeshift studio in his grandma closet and started self-recording with a compact laptop and a radio shack microphone dropping songs at just 14 years old led Papa to making a name for himself, collaborating with his brother Chi Chi in the Cut Circle Gang. And on October 15, 2014, nine days after the killing of Tay and Prosper, Lil Papa and Cut Circle pay homage to their fallen soldiers in their breakout song, Lions, Tigers, and Bears. With the street reputation that surrounded Cut Circle, the song began to gain traction in Jacksonville, and their rivals had first made a diss track towards them, dissing their dead homies and one of their members, Big Dazzy. Mm. Rapping, fish shot as he hit the floor, calling his daddy as he hit the door, allegedly claiming that they thought he was dead, but he was not no more after he survived the fish shot. But it is alleged that head first will finish the job they started on the second attempt. Police say 25-year-old Kim Desi Varner Jr. had been shot multiple times. His car also riddled with bullets. Detectives are now looking for answers about who did it and why. And two days after the killing, on September 26, Lefford Smith, 26 years old at that time, was found dead by officers just at his father's house. According to rumors, it was believed to be the beginning of Get Back for Big Desi. According to rumors, Headfirst rapper by the name of Lil Rap, who initially dissed Big Desi in their song, was responsible for the killing. And on September 19, 2017, five days before the death anniversary of Big Desi, rapper Lil Rap was shot and killed. Shortly before 4 p.m., police were dispatched to a shots fired call on North Pearl Street at 24th Street. When officers arrived, they located a man shot to death inside a car. According to detectives, it appeared multiple shots were fired into the car while it was parked with the victim inside. Police have not identified the victim, but say he appears to be in his early to mid-20s. Witnesses told police three suspects approached the car on foot but were picked up by a sedan that drove them away from the scene. Now at this point, uh, investigators have not been able to determine whether or not this shooting is gang related. One other In August 2018, Lil Papa found himself in the crossfire and he was targeted by the ops. During a drive-by shooting, he was left injured alongside his brother Chi Chi. Now, police were originally calling this an undetermined death, but in about the last hour, they updated us, telling us three people had been shot. Now, I want to give you a look at the area where police are investigating. You can see many evidence markers on the ground. I counted up to 20. Police say multiple people started calling them, saying someone was shot in front of the store there. That's when police and fire rescue found three victims with gunshot wounds. No one was officially charged for the drive-by shooting, but if the rumors are correct, head first members were responsible. Similar to many rappers, he recounted the incident and his traumatic aftermath on a song called Purple Heart, which became his breakout hit that helped him secure the Interscope deal. The song showcased Papa's melody-driven and storytelling chops, which he continues till today. Let Papa understand the value of storytelling and he's playing the game for the long haul and take his rap career as a job and put his life on every track. And Despite his efforts, as I mentioned earlier, he continues to be overlooked because he's not actively on social media, this in the ops, or this in the. But I believe Lil Papa has not reached his peak. 
three years from now when he starts to get his credits and, and people recognize him for being a, a, one of the most authentic rap artists from Jacksonville, people will begin to wonder about him and his story. I hope by watching this video you learn. My name is CJ from Sh YouTube and that, and that was the scary story of Lil Papa. If you made it this far into the video and you like what you saw, please feel free to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Once again, my name is CJ from Sh YouTube and I'm out. Meow. Oh, oh, oh. Shh.